Well, you can take a guess where we are looking at this scene. You should know it by now. This is the New Jersey Pony Power Show, and this is Double Trouble State Park. Looking for some fall scenery and fall foliage, but hey, look at those great shapes, huh? You know how we do it here in Jersey. Get ready to have fun. Look at that, huh? Look at these shapes. Good amount of people enjoying the great weather today. That's good. Um, the cranberry harvest, unfortunately, got some bad news. Uh, they, they, there's no one leasing the bogs right now, so there wasn't a cranberry harvest this year. Hopefully next year, maybe. So it, it would be a little late for that anyway. Moderate. I think it's time to change that sign. It's low. Ground is saturated. Look at these shapes. Man. Oh, there you go. Some fall falling. You see lots of it. I know a lot of swamp maples have their leaves here in New Jersey, but not, not on Long Island. Well, forget about Long Island. Long Island sucks. Um, so we're walking on the trail to Ore Ponds. We're going to do that first. Then we're going to check out the swamps. And there should be some fall leaves along there. Well, there may be some color yet. Look at this. Beautiful scenery here, I'll tell you. These are all white pines, by the way. You knew that already. We got black checks. Some haven't changed yet. A lot of pine needles on the ground. These are from the white pine. They lose the same the needles around the same time as the pitch pines do, more or less. Get ready for some great shapes. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of great shapes. Yeah, look at those great shapes, huh? Yep, we're going to see a lot of that. <laughs> look at those great shapes, huh? Man, they are just incredible. You know, they're the best shapes of here, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm telling you, damn. Look at all these beautiful pitch pines, huh? Look at them. Uh, Gotta look at them and enjoy them, that's for sure. Look at that, huh? It's gorgeous. Absolutely amazing scenery here. And look at all that foliage, too. On the, all the scrub oaks are all red. And look at that shape. <laughs> incredible. This place is incredible on the floor. I've actually never been here at this particular time of the year. It's really incredible. See, we got this fall foliage over here. But, uh, whoa! I was saying something to you. Some of these pines are just really something else. Hey, take a look at this one. These, these pines are just sculptures of works of art. Look at them. Yeah, take a look at this one. We just go right in here. It's all right. Look at this one. Look at this one. Yeah, nothing but pines over here. Nothing but pines. Uh, great shapes, man. Look at all these great shapes, man. Nothing but great shapes in here. Nothing but great shapes. Look at this. That's just incredible. Look at that, huh? Look at that, huh? Nothing but great shapes. All right, next we're going to be at our ponds. All right, we got some foliage here. It was too windy. I couldn't even talk at the lake, and it was frigid with that wind blowing. It's like only around 42, and that wind is blowing on you. Boy, that's that's certainly feeling like winter today. Feeling like winter, but looking like fall. All right, we just went to that piney area north of the lake just to show you some of the amazing scenery here. Now we're going to head into the cedar swamps and look for some fall foliage. 
Now look at these amazing shapes though, I mean, just... So piney over here, so piney. And we have some color here. We still have some foliage here, as you can see. That's what we're on the hunt for. Fortunately, a lot of it's also on the grounds, thanks to all the rain we've had, but we are getting to see some today, that's for sure. Houston, we have a problem. Flooding. This is exactly what I was concerned about. Unfortunately, uh, this one I may not be able to get around. See, it's not that high. It's only been an in, less than like a quarter of an inch, but these sneakers suck. They don't. They got holes in them, and they just let all the water in, and that's the problem. And I should have worn my other sneakers. The stupid, 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 stupid. Ugh. Yes, we're in the the Cedar River. How to just make that crossing? But look, there's still some slush over here. Nice. Further north, there was a lot more, trust me. I knew I'd be getting my feet wet a little bit today. <laughs> That's just unavoidable. But I didn't get too wet. I walked on my heels. So it's a little damp, but it's not too bad. All right, we're at the Cedar Swamp now. I sound different because I took my headphones off. That's because the battery in my radio died, so I have a choice. It's not as cold, so I don't have to cover my ears. You can see most of the leaves are off already. I know, I have the headphones on. I sound like, oh, I'm hyper, I'm hyper, you know. <laughs> Let's get back up. I actually, there is a way into this little section. What you have to do, there's a little gully right in there. You just have to duck under. That's all. If you're short, I mean, that's not a problem. Just duck right under. Alright. Just like this. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I see a lot of foliage over there, so let's check it out. Well, here you go. There's some fall foliage from the swamp maples. And we have some more in here I want to check out. And then we're going to go on that path toward the bogs and stuff. I'm not going to walk all the way down here. I did that last time. I'm not going to do that this time. You can see, yeah, there's splashes of color around from these swamp maples. We'll just walk through the cedar swamp. That's where the color is. There you go, look at that. Yep, you got some of that full foliage, these swamp maples. You got about this whole section here. From this section on east, there's gonna be a lot of full color. Oh yeah, it's cold in here too, wow. Still, you know, on a windy day, the cedar swamp's just holding. Oh, there's just, there's low, deep in the cedar swamp, there's some blood red maples I see in there. Oh, we can't get to them though. Um, some haven't even changed yet, but some are changing. Some have already changed and lost their leaves, so it's all like they're all at different times. I'm not gonna go too much further. There you go, yeah. Alright, if you look in there, you see there are a couple of maples in there that are really showing off. Well, there you go. All right, we're not going any further than this. That's the piney area. And there's some more swamp maple. And now we go back. And then we make a right. And hopefully see some more that way. But remember, it's, it's like certain areas, they all, like over there, all the maples lost their leaves already. And in certain areas they have, they're just starting to change. There's a lot of temperature variability. And the thing is, in cedar swamps, it's 10 degrees colder. So the trees will change two to three weeks before all the other trees will and outside of the swamp. Now there's some more color. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing so far. 
unfortunate. It's like along the roads and the parkway. That's where the trees want to change, but in the parks, no. <laughs> I don't know why that is. I guess because it's cooler in the parks. I don't know. I don't know. But we're not done yet. You know, there's still there's still some chances we could see some more colors. Oh, here here you go. There's some over there. There's a swamp maple, but we really can't get to it. It's in the middle of there. <laughs> well, persistence pays off. Here we go. We got some swamp maples. Yep. See, these are the colors I'm talking about that they change into. This is like blood red. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Well, I think I got what we came for here. <laughs> Look at those swamp maples. Oh, my God. Oh my god, we gotta wait for these walkers to get out of the picture. Oh my god, they are going nuts! Finally, this is what we've come for right here. Yep, these swamp maples. Oh man, look at them going nuts. Oh man, gotta love it. These are amazing trees, man. If you like fall foliage, you know, and who doesn't like fall foliage? Well, these swamp maples are incredible trees. Well, we've definitely come what we've uh, definitely, this is what we've come for right here, this fall foliage. I got the colors pumped up in the camera to really show you. That's some of the swamp maple there really show you the colors that these trees come in. They're incredible. We got a beautiful view and looks like there's some more foliage across the way over there. Oh yes, we gotta wait for these people to get out of the picture and then we'll be keep walking. Come on. A lot of people unfortunately in the way so we have to wait. I want to get a picture of that. Definitely got some more foliage here. Definitely. And I see a whole bunch along this cranberry bog here. I mean, a whole bunch. Like this. Check this out first. Then we're gonna go into the around that cranberry bog where I see a load. I mean a mother load of fall foliage. But first we gotta look at this scene here. Yes, we're in the bog. We're going to walk around this bog because there is some absolutely mind-blowing color here. You can see you got yellows, you got reds, all the shades of the swamp maples. Oh, I love these swamp maples. These aren't really changing too brilliantly, but those... We zoom down, there we are. Uh, those over there, those are nifty. Now we're starting to see some really fantastic fall foliage over here. This is the spot. This is the trail and this is the spot. They're over there, they're missing out on it. I don't want to walk over there, I want to walk over here. 
This is where you want to be walking. Yeah, here's another even better view of it. Right there. Well, now they're looking. Lots and lots of color around here, that's for sure. And, and I, I see even more over there. <laughs> it's everywhere over here, let me tell you. Near the parkway. He's got these beautiful swamp angles. I gotta keep remembering to look back because I'm sort of not looking in the direction. The best light is actually this way. Yeah, see. It's actually this way. Got a little flooding over there. We're gonna be able to go further south. Well, we weren't gonna go south anyway. I just wanna look at that. Get a little color on it. Make sure of that. Going toward the northwest there. All right. Let's see if we can. I don't think we're gonna be able to. I do wanna. I thought I saw some color over here. I wanna check that out too. Let's. Let me show you all the color of all those trees. I gotta zoom in all the way though. Show it to you. The ones we just walked past by the bog. Yep, more colors in here as you can see. And of course, some really tall, old pitch pines. That's a big one right there. Look at that one. Some more brilliant fall foliage in the cedar swamp. There's no way that I can get in there to get it, unfortunately. That's alright though. We have so plenty along the bog, but I'm hoping I can show you some more. Because <laughs> we're not done yet. I still have to walk around the bogs and then we, and then we finally finish up. Yeah, there's some. Now, can you see Atlantic White Cedar Swamp? This is where you want to go to see the fall foliage, the cedar swamps. All right, I think we can, we can go in here, but it's it's a little flooded. We can get a picture though. Let's, yeah, we can go down these steps here. It's flooded right down to the plat. That's part of the steps are underwater, but. I still think we should be able to get a picture, hopefully. Let's head down here and see. Look at this, huh? Beautiful, beautiful little lake here in Cedar Creek. This is a parkway. Now look at this scene right here. Yeah, it's definitely, see, the water's high. Look at those great shapes too, huh? Look at that, huh? It's just gorgeous. I'm going to take a picture of the reflection. Look at that beautiful cedar water, huh? It's like the streams just run with tea, and I love tea. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Now we got ourselves some more fall foliage. More well, swamp maple again. That's what you're gonna see a lot of around here is the swamp maple. And some of the oaks are starting to change too, but it's mostly the swamp. There aren't a whole lot of oaks around here in general. Long Island is more oaky than uh, New Jersey. Uh, you know? We have, it's more of a mix of pines. You have the piney areas and blackjack oaks and some post oaks and you got the wet areas, the cedar swamps and the swamp maples. And a lot of swamp maple leaves on the ground here. Alright, this trail is going to be taking us back 
west. Northwest, actually. Oh, a little flooding here. I didn't see it. Oh, almost. Here we go. We got some more oaks showing up again. Blackjack. Oh, here we go. Here's some more color. Here you go. This is why I try to go to the dry area. Well, even this is a dry area, but you can see the flooding is... That's why I was thinking of going to Al Air, but Al Air is a wetter woods, and there'll be more of that problem through all the rain and snow we had. And there was snow on the ground over there, so didn't want to walk in that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not ready to walk in the snow yet. That's the parkway over there. You can hear it. All right, we should be bad. I want to get away from that parkway. It's loud. any concrete in this section. Well, there's a crazy shape over there. Land of the crazies. <laughs> well, speaking of great shapes, here come some great shapes. <laughs> All right, we're going back into a more piney area now. So you're not going to see too many more swamp maples. You're going to just see mostly great shapes. Lots and lots and lots of great shapes. <laughs> Oh man, there's so many over here. <laughs> and these are just, some of these are just <laughs> nutty. <laughs> so we like the nutty ones. I don't know, Long Island, we just don't get them like this. I mean, we got some of them like that, but not that many. Many, you know. Somebody once commented, they said, oh, it's the Jersey Devil. That's where the shapes are like that. I think they're right. <laughs> no, it's probably the frequent fires and the fact that they're older. Because that's when they get, and they get old, that's when they get interesting. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at those shapes. <laughs> There's a little witch's broom, you see it? Yep, there it is. Just a little one. Midway up that pitch pine. Well, here's the scene we've all been waiting for. Look at these shapes. So we can't walk along this trail. It's not flooded out. It's the trail on the northern periphery of the cranberry bog. I mean, look at these shapes. Man, I don't know if you can hear me over the wind, but... Wow. I mean, I love this place because it's just so piney here. Wherever we go in Jersey, it's just so piney. You know? Look at these great shapes. Yeah, just amazing. Delicious, delicious. Oh my gosh. I do see some more full foliage over there on that. I'm not going down that way though. <laughs> no, 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 no. We got foliage right here, man. We got the oaks changing. And you got these just <laughs> delicious pitch pines. Oh, wow. Look at that, huh? Blackjack oak. Oh, it's really turning some really nice colors. Look at this blackjack oak. It speaks for itself. I don't have to say a word. The sun is getting lower. But man, the scenery is just... These are Virginia Pines, by the way. Yeah, let's take a look at this. There are people actually going to the box and picking cranberries. <laughs> and my, somebody might as well pick them. Unfortunately, uh, 
they won't be picked this year because there's no heart they, you know they're not harvesting them wish we could walk right into this bog it's kind of dry let's go in here look at that huh Yeah, we got a little foliage here. I mean, look at this, and it's just been perfectly clear all day. Clear and cold is just the kind of weather that you just have to be in the Pine Barren. Yeah, there's some more swamp maple. God, but you know what it's about, man. It's all about these just beautiful pitch pines. These just amazing great shapes. That's what it's all about, man, I'll tell you. Yeah, people going into the box and picking cranberries. They gotta, you have to get wet to do that, though. <laughs> like I say, boots. Oh, yeah, I can see the berries in there. I can see them growing. As far as the, the cold hasn't killed them yet. <laughs> it's all about Devil's Eve here in Jersey, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, this brings us to the end of this spectacular New Jersey Pawnee Power Show here at Double Trouble State Park. And remember, folks, I hope you, are out, I hope you got a chance to Sunday. Most people, hopefully you had the day off, you're able to get some Pawnee Woods today, especially my friend Barry. Hopefully you're able to have some fun today, get out and enjoy the beautiful day that God has given us. Thank you for watching, and remember, it's all about those great shapes.